G'day guys, it is your one and only PSGD brought to you by the power of PlayStation and Share Factory. And today, tonight, I wanted to have a look at PlayStation 4's exclusive Street Fighter V. So when PlayStation announced that Street Fighter V was coming exclusively to the platform, I was pretty pumped. I thought that's a really good system seller. Uh, a lot of people in the world enjoy Street Fighter. You know, they build, build comps around it and stuff. And, you know, going back to being a kid, who, you know, who doesn't remember going to their mate's place after they just bought Street Fighter and playing it for hours on end while you should be doing homework, right? So I guess from that standpoint, I was pretty excited about this game, really, really looking forward to it. So in typical PSGD format, we've got to have a, a look at whether this, whether I think it's acceptable around kids. Nah, not for me. Um, I wouldn't be playing this around my kids, there's no way. Uh, it's just violent, yeah? So it's probably when the kids go down or to sleep or something or they're not here, right? Now, the time taken to get into the game. Yeah, it's really, really quick, which is fantastic. I, I liken this to Drive Club. Drive Club is really, really quick in. You can get a quick race going and you can jump back out. That's really good. And it's the same with Street Fighter. It's about a minute to get into the game and to get doing something. The game starts with a tutorial on how to play it, how to do some of the basic moves, and then they jump into this area just here, which is the information which will be shown in the subsequent menus. Now, I honestly believe they've actually done a bit of requirements gathering around this, um, i.e. what do we need to show them, uh, how do we get them into the game and give, there's a fair bit to digest, so how do we best do that? Only problem is, is the, the UI system, I don't think is that great, it doesn't really translate that well, very simplistic, probably could have been done a bit better, maybe it's a bit rushed, not really sure. So anyway, I love talking about visuals. This game looks splendid. Absolutely love it. I love this cartoony art design vector drawing type thing that's going on at the moment. Firewatch did it. These guys are kind of doing it. These two-dimensional but three-dimensional uh, models. The, the environments are pretty cool. Uh, it, I'd expect it, right? Like, I mean, we're on the next generation platform, so these things are absolutely capable of doing it. I would expect something, you know, sort of detailed, I guess, when we were looking at this. Um, I hate to say it, but the environments are limited. There's not many of them. And one of the things that I'd like to say right now is, we all remember back when Ryu or Ken had to beat up the car, and you had to smash the living part of my French crap out of it. Well, it doesn't exist in this game, and I don't know why. Maybe it's going to be DLC later on, but that was one of the things that gives Street Fighter just a little bit of depth. It's not just about fighting people. And you know what? I'm personally I'm pretty disappointed that it's not there. Hey. Anyway, let's try and get the summary going. Um, I think that anyone who's a fighting enthusiast is going to get enough out of this game. Personally, I don't. I've had two hours of it and I've pretty much had enough. PSGD's peak visuals. Street Fighter V and it's exclusive on PlayStation 4. PSGD's pit pretty much everything else. I haven't even mentioned that Capcom have had massive issues um, with servers and stuff. So this game's riddled with bugs. It's probably not the best game right now, but I reckon in 12 months, just like Drive Club, it'll probably be really, really good. But anyway, guys, thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch PSGD's videos, and until next time, enjoy the PlayStation gaming. See ya!